<laughs> it's just a good old head scratch. <laughs> Lots of big old trees, untouched, gone. Not sure what's gonna happen in this building, but it's just hard to come back and look and see all the damage. That Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty. This is Marissa, my wife, down here doing a herd check. Checking on this guy right here, Big Joe. What's happening, Big Joe? Hey, big fella. Oh, he's gonna go visit you. Well, let's see. Yep, Marissa gets a little nervous when he comes over. <laughs> I would too, look at the big fella. It is almost breeding season, and this guy is gonna get busy real soon. As you can see, he's so excited right now, getting a... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm so I don't like that. It's just a good old head scratch. Yeah, I'm really good. Now you can oh, gosh. Anything. Yep, welcome to Pasture 3. Here's the uh, herd right here. I also want to thank Haybach for sponsoring today's video. We're going to have a fun day. So something else that we're going to do, Marissa and I, we're also going to take you to see a herd that we haven't seen in a long time. It's been a while since we've been there, but we're gonna show you some of the damage from the tornado that we haven't showed you, which was in the National Park. We're gonna do a little tour of what's been going on in downtown Sulphur. <laughs> now he's rubbing the tire. We're gonna show you what's been happening, all the changes that have been made since the tornado, since uh, my brother-in-law, Daniel, from Arms Family Homestead. Oh my gosh. Jeez, fella. Okay. We are not that is quite the scratching post. Yeah, I don't. We're going to go, uh, since Daniel, my brother-in-law from Orange Family Homestead, did a lot of cleanup there and the, all the tornado damage and talk about my mom's store, Buffalo Hippie, and the update on that. We're going to do our normal herd check here. I guess give Big Joe a scratching post for a while. So. rotation back into two they're kind of in a quiet mood right now yeah it does feel good Eleanor hey girl Eleanor's doing good y'all we're always checking on her there she is hanging out with her buddies her family Coming in hot, big boy. That big Joe. Going in a new pasture is the first thing he usually does is he's he uh he's got a waller around and roll around in his waller. Mark a spot. The 
me and the Haybach are making our tour around the Buffalo Trail. And I remember just coming here. This was a huge canopy of trees. And uh, it was solid canopy just about all the way through the Buffalo Trail. There were parts of it where it opened up. So this is the creek that runs right here behind us. But it's uh, I haven't been here in the park in this portion since the tornado and just like talking to those people they said they were we were just here a year ago and they used to shop here and stuff like that and they can't believe how much it's changed besides coming in downtown sulfur which we'll go there here in just a little bit and look at it but people forget about the park you know you can still come to the park they still have a lot of closings at the park they still um, are doing a lot of work as you can see here they got the trail cleaned up um, limbs piled up and stuff still a whole lot of work left to do but you can see all the damage there's a piece of sheet metal up there piece of tin not sure where that came from so right back here behind me is the park headquarters sort of like the maintenance barn and uh, it took it out and took a lot of the national parks um, buildings vehicles damaged um, a lot of machinery damaged barns um, it damaged their dozers some of their big heavy equipment lots of stuff we can't go in there it's a restricted area of course only national park employees can go there but uh just uh cruising around here on the hay bike and uh having to stop and look at all these things just evaluate it that you couldn't see through this forest and now you can see daylight through the other side sad we're gonna go see the bison look how big these trees are Completed, uprooted tree here. Just pushed it over. All right, we're gonna climb up this hill. Let's see how this goes. I know what it's like climbing these hills. I used to do it for a track. Tell you what, one thing about this hay bike is uh, <laughs> I know this trail all too well and track, we used to come and run it all the time. Hey, squirrel. And uh, I will say that I know what it's like running up these hills and having this, <laughs> if this hay bike wasn't helping me climb up these hills, I'd be out of breath right now, y'all. All right, they're not here. Good thing is, is we can go all the way around this. This new gravel's got the best of me. <laughs> it all washed away when we got all the rain after the tornado. You can see they came down here and passed it, but it's kind of loose, but Haybach is pushing me through this loose. <laughs> Whoa, hey, bike. Whoa. 
Whoa. I see a body. There's one hiding in the thickets. Oh, there's the big bull. Where's he going? Big fella coming down here to get some of these aqua plants. What's up, big guy? Oh, you got a big head like Big Joe. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Good to see you, buddy. Glad you're in this pasture. Good chat. We'll see you out there. <laughs> I guess he's uh, not as chatty as Dunbar and uh, Big Joe, but uh, I forgot what they name him or what his name is, but sitting there filming and he came out, me and the Hayback were making our rounds and looking for him, of course, heating up, it's getting that time of the day, but I don't know where he come out of the woods. It's a lot of brush in this uh, paddock, this acreage where they rotated them to. Uh, last year, I, I got to be a part of that little situation. That was fun. Um, but you can see there's some thickets and stuff. And it's a lot harder to do and manage a lot of this stuff in the National Park because a lot of these plants are native and whatnot. But I know you're kind of picturing grassland. Well, it does open up. And it does have some grassland to it. But right down here where he specifically was and some of the herd. Oh, I see another one right there. Cal. So this herd, uh, it was about 12. They got, uh, they got rid of some of their yearlings and they gave them to um, the Choctaw Nation. So the Chickasaw uh, National Recreation here, this park that we're at, um, they have a tribal commitment. So any of their excess animals uh, goes to other tribes. Um, for a little tribal agreement that the national parks and some of the refuges do. Uh, they have an agreement with some of the tribes. I think these guys always go to the Choctaw, which is still in Oklahoma, southeastern Oklahoma. And um, anyways, pretty cool to come see them. This is the herd where I very first started. And this herd here has some of the best genetics in the entire national park system entire bison herds across the country this herd here has some of the best genetics and a lot of their genetics come from the wichita mountains so we're gonna we're gonna hop back on the hay bike and uh we're gonna cruise along and see if we can go find him again i found them they're in the woods they weren't in the mood to chat, found the bull. He didn't want to talk. So some of the things I liked about it after hitting the trails hard is one, um, most of the time I'd have been out of shape climbing up those uh, hills on what we call the Buffalo Trail. I used to run those, like I said, as a, as a track kid, we spent a lot of time on the Buffalo Trail and most local people in Murray County, everybody knows where the Buffalo Trail is, one of the most popular trails in the park, but it's got some steep climbs in it. One of the things I do appreciate is the extra boost that this gives when you're climbing up those hills. You're not standing up and driving your legs into, you don't have to do that. You can control your speed and just climb up those hills um, however fast you want, whether you can go slow or, or get after them, you can do that. I do like that about it. Save you some energy. I probably do need a workout, but the old chicken legs, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the only downfall of it is it doesn't look like it's very heavy, um, but it is It is kind of heavy. Um, another great thing about it is this, it folds in half. I could put it in the back of the truck, I could put it in the back of the Tahoe, easy to travel with. It could go in the cab of the Tahoe, it could go in the cab of my truck. It fits in there. You'd be surprised a large adult bike like this that can fit in the back seat of a car or a truck. It takes some learning, but one of the other things is when you pedal, and especially if you stop at the bottom of the hill and you gotta start pedaling up the hill, it is heavy on your legs to really try to get it driving uphill. And if you're going uphill and you're on the bike, it can get a little shaky, you're right? You gotta have some momentum. Make sure that you're on a flat area before you start climbing up the hill and don't start at the hill. 
Um, now you can hit your gear up and notch it up a little bit faster and it'll go. How fast did you go? Top speed. 18, but that was on the trail. Oh. That's pretty fast for a trail. That is pretty fast for a trail. Um, but it was a straight, straight away trail. Said it can go up to 28 miles an hour. Oh. So, I'm not going to do that on a trail, but on a highway, don't doubt it. This thing, you open it up, it'll go. And that's pretty nice about this hay bike. How was the ride? Did it ride pretty smooth? Yeah, smooth. The 20 by 4 inch tires, kind of an all-terrain tire, was great on the bumps and stuff on that trail. Uh, the trail's been washed out in some places. It did just fine on that. I will say it's hard to film and do this at the same time. <laughs> Don't recommend filming and doing that at the same time. Make sure you have a GoPro or something. But uh, it does come with the front rack. Uh, so you can have a little a basket on the front of it as well if you want to put your water bottle up there. Uh, I probably could have strapped something back here uh, with some bungee cords or something. You can put it back here. Uh, that would have been a good place for a water bottle, but they have those options available at haybike.com. The Mars 2.0 has a payload capacity of 330 pounds, which easily allows for heavy riders and cargo. Here's another highlight. The battery on this can run up to 45 miles on one full charge. Oh, this is fun. I love riding this thing. Sucker gets you around pretty quick and it'll surprise you. Hey guys, all right, you can go to the link in the description. You can check it out now. Also, don't forget to use the fan coupon code BISON100 and get ready for your next adventure. Well, we just got back from the park. People kind of forget that the park got the beating first before downtown Sulphur did because it's just south of here. Um, it's hard to see how much that park has changed from what I remember growing up when I worked in it and just being a citizen here um, and caring for the bison and, and keeping up with them. It's hard to see. And uh, we, we have friends that work in the park and it's hard to see what they've had to go through and it's just completely changed the town but you guys recognize this we're in downtown sulfur and this is my mom's shop buffalo hippie all of her uh, western lifestyle clothes and blankets bags all sorts of goodies just a western style boutique here marissa and i sold bison meat in here locally it was the only place that we sold bison meat locally uh, we sold some of our merch here and then of course april 27th uh, about 9 30 10 o'clock at night this area of downtown sulfur we're going to show you more of it uh, was hit with a tornado uh, so if you're just now joining us you can kind of go back and watch those videos if you want but uh, april 27 2024 changed the town of sulfur forever affected so many people and lives and um, anyways today i'm going to show you guys around the place and what's happened and a little over a month here but i just wanted to show you uh this is where we're starting from is my mom's store uh we can kind of keep you updated on what is my mom gonna do what's gonna happen to the store and things like that but um of course it's been blocked off because of looters and stuff like that we tried to get everything out that we possibly could but sometimes you just couldn't but if you want to see the shape of this building and places in downtown sulfur we'll show it to you today but top of the roof is coming down and is unsafe in these old historical buildings which is the saddest part about these buildings they're gonna have to a lot of them are gonna have to go down which is a sad thing and uh, they're just not in great shape of course so uh, let's go show you guys around Uh, this was the old theater uh, back in the day. I hadn't been in service a long time. Um, I don't know exactly what was in a lot of these buildings. This was an old winery. 
and you could come down here for Wine Down Wednesday. Well, they were actually able to save some of the wine out of here, um, but you can see the roof is all collapsed in on these old buildings. These old buildings have been cleaned up already. Right here was Raina's bar. So my mom's store is there. When we first showed up here, there was uh, debris everywhere. You couldn't hardly get a vehicle or anything down here. The roof had collapsed out in the middle of the road. There were power lines down, cable everywhere can see uh, some of the all these windows were busted out uh, this was like basically where the core of it came through it seemed to me there were smashed vehicles right here uh, from the tornado that were kind of turned over on its side and damaged this was the downtown sulfur kind of pavilion area they used to hold concerts here art festivals and stuff like that this is a friend's uh, laundromat was right here. Uh, here was another boutique located right here. Some friends of ours, a girl went to school with, her mom owned that place called Third and Broadway. This was a furniture store, completely leveled. There's actually furniture still left in there. Uh, this was an old Billy Cook saddle building and it was being rented, but you can see all the big beams on it collapsed as well. Hard look at this. Daniel and I cleaned up the hill over here and moved some people's uh, pavilion and debris right over here. Right here was the mixed mercantile. I think they're gonna be rebuild. It's like another boutique. It's the old Billy Cook saddle buildings. A friend of mine named Adam uh, owned some of these buildings down here, a part of the old Billy Cook Saddle Company. And they're all destroyed. He had to completely move his entire business around uh, to, a no, to a new location to build saddles. There's some more left over from some of the buildings he had. This is the post office where uh, we used to bring our packages, uh, the arms and uh, the bakers. Uh, they're actually, the roof collapsed in, but they're gonna save it. Um, they're going to uh, save this building. It was in good enough structure. They're, they're gonna bring back this post office. And so this is basically all that's left standing of it. This was a doctor's office that um, I used to go to when I was a kid and in high school. It was completely leveled. There was a Chevy truck out in the middle of it. This is the title company we used to come to. Uh, the night we showed up down here, we saw some of our friends that own the title company in here looking at it for the first time. And I can't imagine going through the paperwork that they've lost or losing all the paperwork and stuff, but they've had to move their office to a new location in Sulphur for now. Not sure what's gonna happen to this building, but it's rough to see it this way. So this is the uh, backside of my mom's shop when me and Mark and Marissa showed up here the first night. Uh, right after the tornado came through here. That's uh, my mom's back door right here. And uh, kind of walked through here, saw there was electricity. It was raining, we were afraid the roof was gonna collapse. So we got out as soon as we could, but. 
Oh my mark. Holy crap. Hey, 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 hey. We better back out. We better back out. This is basically what's left of the back side of mom's the building. Hers is just right here. Her little sliver is right in there and it goes it's pretty narrow. Um, we showed you the front part earlier, but you can see this old building I don't think is going to make it. And you can see this is a separate building. They put up plywood here that looks like they're going to try to save it this big. Um, all these buildings are really old and it's, uh, it's just hard to come back and look and see all the damage. But this building was condemned and you can see how unsafe it is. And look at the wood, old wood. So the biggest, uh, the saddest part about downtown Sulphur and these old buildings is they'll never be the same. Uh, when these buildings eventually go down, like this one right here will, when they implode it or demolish it, um, the history is gone, essentially. My mom's shop is gone, uh, of course. Nobody knows what's going to happen in these buildings. Nobody knows what businesses are going to come through here. Uh, or rebuild or when is the rebuilding process but you can't replace these old historical buildings and that's the saddest part is uh, they're going to have to be demolished you can see the shape that it's in and uh, it's unsafe condemned nobody can go on these buildings right now they're not even working on them because the owners still have stuff to do and figure things out insurance i'm sure and all of that on what they're going to do next on some of these buildings so um tough to see the artesian made it uh parts of this bank got hit right here um but we're gonna keep moving on oh take a look here in a beautiful sunset we got some calves or yearlings now on one side got the beautiful big joe herd right here behind me yep. good things to be thankful for uh for sure hate to see um, kind of what's going on with the tornado stuff. We'll keep you updated on that and how it's impacted mine and Marissa's life uh, for sure, business-wise, um, with the, um, my mom's life and so many people um, in this town of Sulphur. And it sure has brought a lot of people together. And there's a lot of good things that can come out of the bad. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Sulphur's not going to be the same for a long time. And uh, it's gonna be a while before downtown ever comes back but um and the national park as well a special place uh to to me uh where i started and fell in love with these animals so calves are coming to say hi to i'm doing a little brush hogging on our fence lines here and uh soaking all this in right here so want to thank haybach for sponsoring today's video and get us around the park nice and smooth and of course around downtown sulfur uh, to show you some of that stuff. Um, link is right here in the description, guys. Um, you can check out the Mars 2.0. It's a solid bike. Love it. There's some cool colors to uh, designs that you can get also with that and some accessories along with your bike. To get your special discount, the code is right here. Link is below in the description. Thank you guys for being with us today. We'll keep on bison ranching.